today I want to give you guys a NoFap tip and a NoFap strategy that I started using when I started my NoFap journey a while back. It helped me become more successful in my journey and helped me get further along with my progress in my NoFap journey. Basically how it works is instead of focusing on maintaining this super high streak or trying to get a really high number streak and string together, you know, a full year of no fap or, you know, a full couple months of not fapping. Instead, you focus on the percentage of the time that you have succeeded in not busting a nut. So instead of aiming for 100% perfection, you aim for 95%. The reason why this might be better is because, let's face it guys, we as humans, we're not perfect, okay? Things come up in life, life throws us curveballs, you know, shit just happens, right? And so sometimes we make mistakes and we have slip-ups. I'm sure plenty of you guys have had mistakes or slip-ups in your life that have happened, just like I have, whether it's in your NoFab journey or just in your everyday life or you go through a certain situation and you made a mistake. So if you mess up just one day, honestly, how much progress have you actually lost? It's like if you've gone to the gym for three months straight every single day and then the day after that third month, you miss one day, have you lost all of your gains? Are you like, did you lose all your muscle? No, you didn't. You still have all that muscle that you built up during those three months. Have you lost a little bit of progress? Sure, because you missed that one day and you kind of got out of a rhythm in that one day, but you haven't completely lost all of your progress. And so in the big scheme of things, nothing has really changed that much because all of the progression that you have made in those three months, most of it and the majority of it is still with you and it's still there. The same sort of thinking can be applied to NoFap. Let's say you were someone who used to jerk off and you know bust nuts every single day for you know a very long period of time, really consistently. And then you decided to embark on the NoFap journey, you know, take your own NoFap journey, try and remove that bad habit from your life. And then comes a day where you slip up just once, just one day out of those multiple weeks that you have strung together of not going on the hub and not busting a nut, but you slipped up just one day. If we really look at it, how much progress have you guys lost? How much progress did you lose just by having one slip up for one day? Not much. Because in the big scheme of things, you were able to reduce how much you were fapping by a significant amount. If you were someone, like I said, who consistently was fapping, you know, every single day for pretty much like your whole life ever since you found the hub and found what porn is and then you went multiple weeks without doing it and then had one slip up during those weeks where you weren't doing it, you significantly reduced how much you were busting a nut and fapping. So you should feel happy and proud of yourself that you were able to reduce it that much. You shouldn't feel guilty and sad and you know beat yourself up because you had one slip up i've said this before no fap is a marathon it's it's not a sprint guys right it's something that we want to implement in our life for like all of our life but doing something like that isn't going to just take one day or take one week we're gonna have setbacks we're gonna have slip ups and that's okay that's part of the journey but if you can understand and realize like wow you know, I, I didn't do it for a month or I haven't done it for multiple weeks. You should feel good about that because you have made progress. And just because you had that one slip up or that one moment where you, you know, resorted back to that bad habit doesn't mean all of that progress that you built up in those previous weeks is gone. One of the biggest problems that I had and that other people have with trying to maintain the streak of NoFap is the harsh downfall you get when you do slip up. The feeling as if, you know, you lost all your progress because you had that one slip up. You were on a 200 day streak and then you had a slip up and now you're just filled with negative emotions 
and being like, oh my gosh, I had this huge streak that I was going on and I broke it. Now what? I just ended the biggest streak that I was ever on and I failed. Now I don't have a streak anymore. When that happens, now you feel like, well, I don't have a streak anymore, so I might as well just continue to fap. I might as well just continue to go on the hub and bust a nut because you have nothing to lose anymore. That streak is already gone, so you have nothing that you're determined to keep growing. You're not keeping a streak anymore because that streak has reset and you're back to zero. So now you don't have that sense of that feeling of loss if you break the streak. So now you just resort and you make an excuse for yourself like, oh, I might as well just do it because nothing is holding me back anymore. I just broke and I just failed right there. So I'm just going to do it again. And then you start doing it again and again and again. That's where most of the damage is done. Slipping up just once isn't going to make much of a difference. But if you go on a FAP marathon, if you start jerking off consistently, then you start to basically lose most of the progress, if not all the progress that you've built up. And if you start doing it day, day in and day out consistently, multiple times a day for multiple weeks, then all that progress that you had before is basically down the drain. So having a system in place is important to prevent the binging of going back on a you know fapping binge. So let's say for nine days, you didn't jerk off. For those nine days straight, you haven't jerked off. And then on the 10th day, you slip up. From a streak perspective, you failed. You did well for those nine days. And then on that 10th day, you slipped up. But if we switch that to a percentage perspective, then slipping up on that 10th day means you went from 100% to 90%. It still stains a little. Like it still sucks that you did have a slip up in the nofap journey, but it's a lot better than going from 100% all the way down to 0% like it is on a streak. So having that 100% percentage and then going from zero is what happens and is the feeling you get when you try and maintain the perfect streak. This may not work for everyone. It's just another way of approaching nofap. You know, I, I used to do the streak. I had good you know, success with it, but I experienced those like tremendous downfalls when I did slip up. And sometimes it was really hard for me to get back on the horse and build up another, you know, really good streak again. So when I found out about this strategy and kind of thinking of it in a percentage way, you know, if you can go 10 days and only slip up once and you maintain like a 90% and then eventually build up to a 95%, you're going to slowly less and less, you know, keep slipping up and eventually you just won't be fapping at all. And even if you maintain a 95% for the rest of your life, that's that's still really good. That's still barely fapping at all. I think it is worth trying the percentage way and the percentage approach to no fap if you're someone who does binge after one mess up. That was me. I would have a mess up and then I would just beat myself up so bad. I'd be like, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to continue to fap. You know, the next day I would fap. And then the next day I would go on the hub. And then the next day and the next day. And so then I would just keep putting myself backwards instead of going forwards. Because I already felt like I had nothing to lose. I just ruined this awesome streak that I was on. And my self-esteem was really low. And if this way doesn't work for you, then you can always go back to, you know, focus on maintaining a streak. This is just another way of kind of taking that bad downfall out of it and understanding that we as humans, we're not perfect. We're going to mess up sometimes, but we can always pick ourselves back up and get back on the horse and learn to be better and keep striving to be better. But we don't get better without making mistakes. So Mistakes are just part of it. Not all of your progress is lost when you do slip up on your nofap journey. It's just a part of the process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. If you can't keep a streak right now, or you've been struggling to get that streak higher, try and think of it this way. Try and thinking of it as a percentage way. Try and base your approach of nofap off of this strategy 
and see how that works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it through the whole video, I really appreciate you. Drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video and hit the subscribe button as well. My Instagram is in the link below in the description. You guys can message me there. Anything you guys want to talk about, I'll be on the lookout. And this was Jordan. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.